What is yoga? A body at ease, a peaceful mind, yet very alert. Inner strength, harmony, a fresh outlook on life. This is yoga. I am Vailana. Welcome to the world of yoga. Let's start with the pose to wake up the spine, the cobra stretch. Get a small cloth or towel to place under your forehead. Fold it so it's about one or two inches thick. Then lie on your stomach, placing your forehead on the towel. Have your arms by your side, palms up and feet together. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Turn your palms up and rest your hands in the small of your back. Relax your shoulders towards the floor. Exhale completely. Then inhale fairly deeply and raise your head, shoulders and upper back from the floor. Lifting and stretching your arms behind you. Hold your breath in as you hold the pose. Exhale and lower your chest and forehead to the floor. Place your hands on your lower back again. Relax, breathing normally. Inhale and again lift your head, shoulders and chest from the floor. Lift your arms as high as you can and move them back so you feel an opening in the front of your shoulders. Exhale and slowly come down. Bring your hands down last. Take a few breaths as you relax your entire torso and arms. Inhale and come into the pose. Tighten your buttock and thigh muscles to make the pose strong and to help you lift your chest higher. Exhale and come down. Relax. This pose is excellent for strengthening the lower back muscles. It helps prevent and relieve lower back pain. Let's come up one more time. Extend your arms back and up as far as you can. Lift your chest high. Look up. Slowly lower your body to the floor. Turn your head to one side. Bring your arms to your side. Palms up. Relax your shoulders, chest, abdomen, and lower back. Don't hold onto any tension in your muscles. Let's go completely. Now, let's stand with feet together for arm garland pose. This pose tones the abdominal organs and soothes sore backs. Raise your arms in front of you to show the level. Bend your knees, keeping your back straight as you come into a squatting position. Try to keep your heels down. Separate your knees and extend your spine. Inhale. Then as you exhale, lean forward, 
bringing your chest between your legs. Bring your armpits in front of the knees and wrap your arms around your legs, interlocking your fingers behind your ankles. Inhale deeply. Exhale and bend forward, elongating your spine. Bring your forehead to the floor or as close to it as you can. Breathe normally as you hold the pose, relaxing downward into the stretch. Bring some of your weight onto your heels. If you can't get your heels down, roll a towel up and place it under your heels. This will help you balance. Make sure you still feel a stretch in the Achilles tendons as you press your heels towards the towel. Feel your entire spine stretching as it rounds. Relax your shoulders downward. Your abdominal muscles are now contracting. The pressure on the abdominal organs in this pose helps relieve constipation and aid digestion. If you feel any strain on your lower back, do the pose without bending down. Just extend your spine up diagonally and look forward. This pose stretches the entire spine and loosens the hips and groin. Inhale and slowly raise your head and back. Release your hands and extend your arms in front of you, bringing your knees together. Lift and stand up. Lower your arms. Lie on your back with your palms down for leg cycling. Bend your knees to your chest. Imagine that you are pedaling a bicycle, extending first one leg, then the other. Bring your knee into your chest each time. Point your toes, breathe normally, and keep your upper body relaxed. Let's go in the opposite direction, pedaling backwards. Make your leg movements large and slow, then gradually increase the speed. This exercise is also good for constipation and indigestion. It helps release gas as well. Bring both knees to your chest. Now we'll pedal forward with both legs. If your lower back is weak, place your hands, palms down under your buttocks. This part of the exercise really strengthens the abdominal muscles. Now, let's pedal backwards. Imagine you're drawing big circles with your toes. Remember to keep your upper body and face relaxed. Bring your knees into your chest. Extend your legs and rest them on the floor. Turn your palms up and relax completely. Let your feet fall outward as you let go of all tension. Turn onto your left side and rest your head in your left hand. Right hand in front of you. Bend your right knee and wrap two fingers around your big toe. Extend your leg, 
slowly strengthening your knee. Inhale. Exhale and increase the stretch by pulling your leg towards you. Then inhale and release. Repeat. If you can't reach your toes with a stretch leg, wrap a strap around your foot and pull on it gently to increase the stretch. If you find it hard to balance on your side, you can bend your left leg. Now, pull your leg towards you. Hold it there. Breathe normally as you let your muscles relax and lengthen. You can flex your foot to intensify the stretch at the back of the leg. Release the stretch. Bend your knee. Lower your leg. Straighten your arm and lower your head. Let's switch sides. Rest your head in your hand. Bend your knee and grip your big toe. Then straighten your leg. We'll repeat the exercise on this side. As you exhale, bend your elbow, pulling your leg in. Then inhale as you ease off the stretch. Do it gently, letting your hamstring and inner thigh muscles release and stretch. Try to bring your leg a little closer to your head each time, but don't bend your knee. If you can't draw your leg in further without bending your knee, just hold your initial stretch. Now, come into your maximum stretch and hold. Visualize your breath moving into the tight spots, helping you to release the tightness. This pose can relieve backache, prevent hernia, and reduce fat around the waist and thighs. Release the stretch. Bend your knee, release your toe and lower your leg. Extend your arm and let your head down. Let's stand for bend waist triangle. Have your feet a little wider than shoulder width. Toes turned out. Raise your arms to shoulder level. Palms down. Inhale deeply. Exhale and bend from the hips. Look forward as you come down until your spine is parallel to the floor. Keep your knees straight and breathe normally. On your next exhalation, swivel your torso to the left and take hold of your left ankle with your right hand. Stretch your left arm straight up. Turn your neck. Looking at your hand, your palm faces the left. Breathe evenly as you hold the pose. Rotate your chest to the left as much as possible. Pulling gently on your left ankle gives you the leverage to twist further. If your neck gets tired, look straight ahead or down at your left foot. Now, slowly twist to the other side and take hold of your right ankle. Extend your right arm straight up and gaze at your hand. Breathe evenly, increasing the twist with each exhalation. If you can't take hold of your ankle without rounding your lower back, raise your torso and take hold of your knee or shin instead. Your spine should extend out straight, then twist. 
And this asana stretches the spinal muscles and helps relieve lower back pain. Like all twists, it's also an energizing pose. Rotate back to center. Inhale and come up with a straight spine. Exhale and lower your arms. Close your eyes and relax your waist, your entire back. Lie on your stomach and we'll do a back strengthening exercise. Turn your toes under. Place your chin on the floor. Roll onto one side and make your hands into fists. Bring them together under your body with your thumbs touching the ground. Roll onto your hands. Move your knees forward so your buttocks, thighs and abdomen lift up. Inhale fully. Then slowly raise your right leg as high as you can. Don't worry if your knee is bent. Just focus on lifting your hip. Hold your breath or breathe lightly. Exhale now and slowly lower your leg. Take a full breath. Raise your left leg as high as you can, exercising the left hip. Hold your breath in or breathe lightly. With an exhale, lower your leg. Take your arms out and lower your buttocks. Let's stand with feet together for an easy version of the double ankle pose. Interlock your fingers behind you and stretch your arms back and up. Step your right foot forward. Inhale and tilt your head back, extending your chest and neck. Exhale and bend forward from the hips, keeping your knees straight. If you can, rest your forehead on your shin. Let your arms move towards the floor. Breathe slowly and deeply as you hold. Exhale completely. Then inhale and slowly come up. Step your right foot back. Raise your arms again as you step your left foot forward. Inhale and look up. Exhale as you extend your spine, bending forward. Bring your arms over your head. Contract your thigh muscles and press down on your back foot. Relax your neck as you move your arms towards the floor. Let gravity help you release into the stretch. Inhale and lift your spine up straight. Step your left foot back and release your hands. Now separate your feet about three feet apart. Extend your arms up and interlock your fingers. Turn your palms and stretch your arms straight. Inhale deeply. Then exhale and bend to the left. Inhale and come up. Exhale and bend to the right. Inhale up. Repeat. Exhaling as you bend from side to side. Inhaling as you come up. Your chest should face forward throughout the exercise, even if you can't bend very far. Keep your arms alongside or behind your ears. Feel the stretch move down the sides of your body as you move deeper into the stretch.
Exhale as you bend to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right once more. And inhale up. Lower your arms to your side and walk your feet in a little. Close your eyes and relax your whole body. Be aware of the invigorated circulation within your body. Now, let's end today's session with some yoga sound meditation. There's no hard and fast rule to yoga sound meditation. You can do it sitting, lying, or standing. Today we'll do it swinging and dancing to the melody. Do your own movement. Be free and have fun.